Well, here we are. I've never done this on my phone before, so we're going to see how this goes. But on the computer the last couple of times, like, we haven't really been seeing the interactions. So I'm hoping maybe doing it on my phone I can see the interactions um, as they're coming in. I'm going to apologize right off the bat. Uh, yesterday I was down and out. Um, I was super sick, had a lot going on with me. I slept all day, all day long yesterday, and uh, my cat also slept with me all day long. So now since, I don't know, like 6.30 this morning, he's been running around like a spaz, like a complete and utter spaz. Um, and I knew it was coming. I knew I was going to pay for the peaceful day that we had yesterday um, at a later time. Um, yeah, he he's running all over the place. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time if he jumps around the table or jumps behind me, you know, at any point. Um, what's this? There's something going on here. All right, it's cutting in and out, but hopefully, I just took off my Wi-Fi, so hopefully it'll just run on data and won't do that anymore. See, there he goes. He's being a crazy person. Um, oh. Uh, so this morning, I pulled my, my card for this morning, my intention card for today, and it ended up being integrity. And I was just laughing and joking on a video call with a few of my friends about like how I'm like, I don't know what to say when it comes to integrity. You know, I've, I've been thinking about this word for probably two hours now. Um, you know, and I had some other stuff come up, you know, I, I bounce these ideas off of people, you know, to get some ideas from you guys as to what to talk about sometimes. Like if it's just not readily available for me, um, I do have mornings where I get an idea and I have the whole thing you know, the whole, it, my brain just goes with it. And I know what I want to talk about. I know like what points I want to touch on, but there's mornings like this morning where I'm like, uh, you know, and I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, my brain is going 90 miles an hour. Um, and I'm thinking about all, all types of different things. Um, so I'm going to try to just keep the focus on integrity today. Um, my cat is currently, hold on, stop it. Um, keep the focus on integrity. So anybody who doesn't know what integrity is, um, it's, you know, being honest with yourself um, and judging things on your, uh, you know, your moral compass, what's right and wrong for you. Um, you know, and that, that is being a person of integrity. Um, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. Hi, Nellie. I see you popped in here. Um, that's the only notification it's given me, but I see some others are watching. So hello to all of you. I don't know exactly who you are, but hopefully it'll start popping in some, some feed. Oh, hi, Jake. Um, so for me, you know, I've touched on this a lot over the past couple of weeks, that that soul sickness, that soul uncomfortability that I've had here and there, you know, with with how I've been reaching out to people or, you know, how much I'm working out, stuff like that. Um, you know, that for me is my integrity that that is showing me what what I want out of life, you know, what I don't want out of life, the person I do want to be and the person I don't want to be. Um, you know, and a lot of that comes down to me letting go of a lot of things. Um, and that was another topic that got brought up this morning was like letting go of toxic people. But what that did for me was open my mind to in connection with integrity. You know, a lot of that is letting go of my old ideas, you know, and the person that I was at one point in my life. Um, you know, and that's what navigates my integrity today is, is I don't want to be that person anymore. I want to be better than I want to be more than the person that I chose to live as, um, for vast majority of my life, you know, and that, that's what dictates the decisions that I make today. The things that I do that I don't have to do, but I choose to, because I want to be a better person. I mean, it fuels me, you know, it fuels me doing stuff like this and being there for people and, uh, you know, being a good cat mom, you know, taking care of my house, um, you know, following through with my family, um, all of those things play a piece in, in who I am today and who I want to be, who I strive to be, you know, and I've said it before, I, I fall short. I absolutely fall short and I have bad days. Um, you know, but that's okay. And it all, it all has like, you know, made me who I am today and it all continues to make me who I am today. Sorry. I have to, my cat is doing what he's doing right now. It's really loud and obnoxious. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but it sounds loud to me. So, all right. He likes tissue boxes, so he was just tearing that up. All right, so I did find a reading that kind of goes with what I was thinking about 
this morning. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Rachel. I see you two popped in. Um, the reading that I'm going to read today is from the same book that I've been reading. I've been thinking, um, you know, and I think that it, I think it does go hand in hand with integrity and who we want to be. Um, so I'm going to read it to you. It's, it's called, I am who I choose to become. I'm not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. That's a quote from Carl Jung. There's so much power and aspiration in that statement. Who you become as a person is up to you, up to your imagination, your will, your determination, and your choices. Ever since I was a little girl, I've been fascinated by people's life journeys. I've devoured hundreds of biographies and autobiographies, interviewed countless people from all walks of life, always intrigued by the way people negotiate their ups and the downs, the, fo the forks in their road, the hurdles they've faced. In other words, the choices they've made. And this is, and, and what I've learned is this. No one's life follows a linear path. No one's life is devoid of mistakes, pain, and regret. What I also know is that no one's life, no one lives a perfect life. It doesn't matter whether you were born into a famous family or not. No one is immune to some kind of struggle, whether it is mental, emotional, physical, financial, or professional. Everyone has something to work through. And more often than not, that struggle is tough, scary, and lonely. But the good news, is, good news is that each day gives us the opportunity to choose to begin anew. So today, start where you are. Not where you wish you were, but where you are. I'm grateful for that realization because I used to spend so much time beating myself up for the choices I'd made that I thought were permanent. And regretting opportunities I was too scared to grab and thought would never come my way again. Or I deluded myself by focusing my attention only on an imagined future, fantasizing there would be a time when everything would magically be as I dream. But I've learned that living in either the past or the future keeps me in my head, out of reality, robbing me of the present. So today I choose to live in the present. My intention is to authentically be myself as I am today. I try to stay conscious of not judging myself and others. And what I've discovered is that all the time and energy I spent in the past and future, I can now spend on my family, my friends, my purpose, and my mission. In other words, my actual life. One of my favorite sayings is often attributed to Ralph Waldo Emerson. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. So today, start where you are. The past is gone. The future isn't here. This day offers each of us a chance to be the person we want to be, not the person we wish we had been yesterday or want to be tomorrow, but the person we already are. I trust that you will meet me right where I am. Help me to make choices that are good for me and those I love. Help me to become the person I'm meant to be. Help me to say and believe that today I am enough and I am worthy. Help me to know that each day is a gift and I can begin anew. Um, so being quite honest, I, I wasn't going to read anything. Um, I was just going to go by the seat of my pants on this, you know, and I kind of did in a way. Thanks, Stacy. I love it too. Um, in a way I kind of did, it was literally 1155. And I said, you know what, let me take another look at this book and see if I can find something. So I looked again and I was like, Hmm, who I am, I, I am who I choose to become. And I was, you know, intrigued. So I looked at it and I read it. And I was like, this is perfect. Um, you know, I can aspire. I need to get that book. Absolutely. I, I can help you do that, Nellie. Um, you know, it says in there, like, don't focus on the future and, and stay in the present. And I, you know, I think that there's a difference in this. I can have goals, you know, and I can, I can have goals that I want to be a different person. I want to be a better human being. I want to, you know, eventually get to this point in my life. But I think, you know, it gets to be a detriment if that's all we're focused on. You know, if we're worried about that and we're fearing what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, if I'm not able to be in the present moment and be who I am today, I think that's when it becomes a problem. You know, I think it's a very good thing to have goals, you know, and have something that we're working toward in life. With that being said, though, exactly what I just said, not focusing on that 100%. You know, giving it my best right now. Um, no matter what it looks like out there, anywhere else. You know, I've talked about the hula hoop before. I only have control over what's inside that hula hoop if I hold it around my waist. 
Everything outside of that hula hoop is out of my control, you know? And that means the future. That means the past. It's out of my control. You know, all I can do is, is strive to have a life of integrity, intention, and doing the next right thing today, right now. You know, in the next five minutes, what am I going to do? You know? I think that's what I'm, like, trying to really focus on right now, you know? And I have all this time to do that right now. I have all this time to sit and just kind of decide what the next right thing is going to look like. You know, and it looks a lot different today um, because I have so much free time. You know, but that's okay. That's okay. I can still get up early. I can still do a workout. I can still make myself food and eat because that's important. Hi, kitty. Um, you know, I can reach out to fellow people in, in, my, in my support circle um, or not in my support circle, you know. I can pick up the phone and call my sponsor or my sponsees. Um, you know, I can, I can take the time and be there for somebody, you know, even if I'm tired or even if I don't feel good or whatever, you know, I can answer the phone because I'm able to do that today. Um, you know, and for me, that's what my integrity looks like. You know, I might not want to sometimes, and I'm, I'm a very honest human being. Um, if you've followed me at all over my videos, I, I keep it real um, and really simple too at the same time. It's like, you know, I, I, sometimes I don't want to. You know, sometimes I really struggle just to get out of bed in the morning. Other times I struggle to answer the phone. You know, um, I'm human. But the, the difference in, 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 in what I do is today, I pick up the phone anyway. You know, most of the time. I do have times that I don't, um, but that's a self-care thing. Um, those are times that I specifically just can't, you know, and that's my own, that's knowing myself and my own self-awareness and choosing um, to take care of me at certain moments, you know. Um, but ma majority of the time, what that looks like is taking care of other people too. Um, I've shared about it plenty of times, you know, that's, that's what helps me get through. Um, but you know, I, I touched on it a little bit when I first started this video and I, I'm sure a lot of us can relate is, uh, I'm trying to use my mouse to navigate my phone. Um, you know, who I was, who I was is not who I am today. Um, I, I have a long, I'm 30 years old and for me, 26 years of that was lived in a very chaotic and unmanageable lifestyle. You know, um, I did what I wanted when I wanted, I didn't care how it affected people. You know, I, I, I had one purpose in life and it was just to get the next thing that I wanted, regardless of who I took that, took out in the process. You know, and I struggle with that sometimes. Sometimes I get selfish again and I get in this headspace that I forget that other people matter, you know. Um, so for me, a part of my integrity is letting all of that go. Letting that person go and realizing that I'm doing the next right thing today and I'm doing the best that I can in this moment, you know. And I, again, there's times that I fall short. Um, you know, so I'm going to ask you guys, you know, like what, what... What does your integrity look like today? What is it that you want out of life or out of just out of today? What is it that you want to accomplish today? What type of person do you want to be today um, for yourself or for somebody else? What is that? Um, you know, jump in, comment, give me things to run on here. Um, you know, I, I really struggle with, with reminding myself of that. So when I get on here and I talk to you guys or... I reach out to my supports. I try to make it a point to mention that, you know, this is what I'm striving for today. Help me to attain that. Um, you know, so then I have people who ask me, how did, how did it go yesterday? Did you do this? Uh, you know, where's your prayer life at? Where's this at? Where's that at? You know, I have people that check in on me. Um, and I'd love to be able to do that for you guys. You know, tell me what, tell me what your goals are here. Um, what's your intention for today? You know, is it to find your integrity? You know, find it. Maybe we don't know what it is. Um, I know that I'm still molding and sculpting mine. I'm still learning every day what that looks like for me. Because like I said, I spent majority of my life just going through life. That's it. Survival, strictly survival mode. You know, I had no goals. I had no purpose. I literally was just surviving every day. Um, so over the past four or five years, you know, I've spent some time learning myself. You know, what that looks like for me. What I want. Um, what my purpose is. Um, you know, and that's, that's what prompted this intention setting discussion because, you know, the people in my life, my support networks started to see that I was doing these things and like trying to 
at least have some sort of goal throughout the day. Um, you know, and it was suggested to me to share this with you guys. You know, I, I, I literally just like, I've needed help, you know, I've needed help to figure out what that looks like for Kirsten. Um, cause sometimes I don't see it myself, you know, I need you guys and I need my supports to, to keep me going and to point stuff out like that to me. Nellie just jumped on today. I want to get out of this funk I'm in. Just feel like it's a bad day and trying to focus on something, but it's just not happening. Um, you know, so in those situations when I'm in a funk, you know, I try to ask myself, what is it that brings me joy? What is it that gives me that inner peace? You know, is it music? Is it my cat? Um, is it being outside? You know, stuff like that. And I try to make that happen. I know it's cold out today and it's snowy, but we could put a hoodie on. We could go for a walk, jam out to some music and just block out everything for a little while, you know? Um, and sometimes that helps, helps me clear my head and brings me back, you know, brings me back to me, um, to, to what's in my soul. Um, you know, other times for me, what that looks like is picking up the phone and asking somebody else how they're doing and not talking about me at all. Not talking about what I'm going through, what I'm feeling, none of it. Um, I leave myself out of the equation and by being there for somebody else, I then forget what my problems were, you know, for the moment. Um, it brings me out of that funk. It helps me to just let it go, stop obsessing over it, break that cycle that's going on in my head. Um, you know, so whatever that looks like for you, Nelly, you know, um, really spend some time and think about it. Like what brings me peace? What brings me joy? And do some of those things today. Um, you know, we have the ability. We can't do all the things we want to do, of course. Um, but we can absolutely get outside, can listen to music. I can talk to people. Um, I can clean. I, one of them for me is cleaning. I find it very relaxing. Um, so I can do that kind of stuff, you know, I can play with my crazy cat back there. Anything that, you know, will help you get out of that funk. Um, you know, it's all about the action that we take. If we just sit in it, then it's never going to stop. You know, it's never going to stop. No change is going to happen. Um, and actually we'll take back steps, you know, we'll start going backwards. We'll start getting into that darkness. Um, you know, it's the action that we take and picking that foot up and putting it forward and, uh, doing the next right thing based on what your integrity is based on what you want um, for yourself, for your recovery, for your growth, really, you know? Um, thanks for jumping in on that. I liked it a lot. Um, what else have we got in here? You know, it's like she, she hones in on the fact to like start where you are right now. You know, right now, you don't have to, you know, have this long track record of doing the next right things. You know, start right now. Um, it's never too late. Nikki, until recently, I was struggling to stay in the moment and try to have a perfect plan for every day. I have learned that it's good to have some goals every day, but my entire day cannot be filled with expectations of myself. I was setting myself for disappointment with unrealistic goals. Absolutely. Um, I read something earlier to somebody on the phone that was called going with the flow. And it's about, you know, this guy like jumping into a waterfall and everybody thought he was going to die. Um, and he comes out on the other side and he says, you know, pretty much in a nutshell, he says, you know, I, I, I am one with the water. Um, and if I, if I just don't fight it, I know that my success is, uh, going to happen. Um, he has a lot more, you know, way smarter words for that. Um, and puts it in a very poetic way, but that's genuinely what he was talking about. You know, and I, I was just touching on that a little bit. I think it's fantastic to have goals. Like today, you know, I need to go shopping. I need to do my laundry. Those are my two things that I know I need to do. But I have 16 hours of day, right? So I'm just going to go with it. And however it unfolds, it unfolds. You know, I have to be on this call at 12. Cool. I'm going to do that. I want to see somebody at some point today. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go shopping and I'm going to go get my laundry done. And however that looks is fine. You know, I had two things that I wanted to accomplish. If I accomplish them, great. If I don't, that's also okay, you know? Um, and I think it is important to have goals and have intentions for the day. But I also think going with the flow brings so much peace to our lives. You know, we were talking about a theme for this morning, letting go. We were talking about letting go of control of our lives, you know? And that every, every piece needs to be in the right place at the right time. Um, you know, and one of my friends even said, like, once she was able to do that, it's so much more peaceful. Um, it takes a huge weight off your shoulders. Just let it go, you know, let it happen, let it flow. Um, and things, things seem to fall into place, 
whatever that looks like for you. You know, things happen the way they're supposed to happen. I mean, obviously, yes, have some sort of purpose and some sort of goal for your day. But outside of that, just go with it. You know, I love that. I'm um, setting myself up for disappointment with unrealistic goals. Um, I'm one of those people that a few months ago, I filled every moment of every day with something. Nine times out of 10, I didn't finish half of it. And I felt like I was only giving like 25% of myself at each task because I was so worried about cramming the rest of it in in the next eight hours, right? Um, so I wasn't present. I was worried about the future. I was fretting about the past. I was a freaking mess. Um, you know, and once I started to go with the flow a little bit, and granted, again, we have ebbs and flows. Some days are better than others. Um, once I was able to just kind of let go and start going with it, so much, so many changes started to happen within me, within the things I was doing, the progress I was making, you know, how many people I was reaching, like all these great things started to happen because I wasn't trying to control every little detail of my life, you know? And in that, I, I feel peace. I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, most days I am okay with myself today. Um, and it's because I don't have these huge expectations on myself. You know, I love that you brought that up. Thank you, Nikki. Stacy, for me, my integrity is a reflection of my willingness to continue to be kind, even if it's a smile to a stranger. Reaching out and checking in and share my blessings with others. Integrity to me is paying it forward in any form. I agree with that 100%. 100% across the board. Um, I've talked about this and shared about it a few times is, you know, rock coverage, fitness changed my life. And it was, you know, because of the fact that I was forced to think of other people all day. I would have never thought that I could be where I am today, you know, but by being pushed into that, that's what I got. Um, so yeah, my integrity is, I would say like 90% made up of being there for the next person. Jake, my recovery has taken many shapes over the past few years. It's usually been focused around what other people want, and I do see the value of other perspectives and suggestions. Taking everything with a grain of salt, and if it doesn't apply, let it fly. My integrity starts with honesty with myself. It's doing things because they are right, the right thing to do, and my key is to find my balance. Absolutely. Um, I 100% agree with you. I do take suggestions and uh, follow in what people tell me to do, but at the same time, my recovery is my own. Um, you know, and it looks different than anybody else's. It is Kirsten's recovery and that's what matters. It works for me. It keeps me going, keeps me going. Jen, I was really enjoying this message. And then I saw the napping cat in the background and now I want to pet the kitty. <laughs> he actually calmed down finally. There he is. I want to see him guys. There he is. So we're about six and a half hours into his being awake. Um, and he, that's the first time he has calmed down. So we're grateful for that. Maybe me talking calmed him down. Who knows? Um, I really love this stuff though. Yeah. Um, back to what Jake said a little bit here. We, we talked about balance the other day and I think it is such an elusive word. Um, you know, and I think that we all strive for this perfect balance in our recovery, you know, in, in the amount of social time I have and what I'm doing at work and how much fitness am I getting in and all these different things, you know, that we try to put all into this box. Um, and for me, it's like an ebb and a flow, you know, a lot of things in my life are like that. They kind of just go, um, there's days that, you know, it doesn't look ideal, but it works for me. You know, my balance works for me. Um, and that's what matters. You know, it doesn't have to be this perfect idea of anything. It, it, it is whatever works for you. Um, and I like that he, uh, capitalized my balance, um, cause that's it right there. It, you know, it's not about anybody else. It's not about what people think should, shouldn't, blah, 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 any of that. It's about what works for you in your recovery. Um, you know, absolutely. And I think tying it back to this integrity topic that we have today, you know, what is it that's the next right thing for you? What is it that adds to your integrity and is building your moral compass? You know, I, I know a lot of us don't even know what, what that looks like, you know. So what is it that's helping you build there? You know, and just keep in mind that we, we, we can start right now. Every day you can start over um, and it's okay to fall short. It's okay to, you know, not meet up to any standards, you know, find it for you, find it for you. What works for you, what makes you happy, what brings, you know, joy to your life, what feeds your recovery, what feeds, you know, those that your purpose, what you get up for in the morning. Um, that's important. That's important. Um, so it's just about time to wrap up here. If anybody else has any other comments or anything we want to talk about, absolutely jump in and and do that. Sorry, my phone started ringing. I've never done this on my phone. It's so weird. Um, but yeah, jump in. I have 
a few more minutes if you guys want to uh, comment. I see Justin joined in. I love you guys so much. Um, this really makes my day. You know, I felt off that I missed it yesterday, but I was so sick. I couldn't, I couldn't get on here. Um, I could barely walk for a moment there. Um, but yeah, I felt it yesterday when I didn't get on here. I felt it in my soul. You know, my day felt off. Um, I slept most of the day, but still in all, I could feel it. Um, I, I, you know, I have this deep, like, sense of regret sometimes. Like, I miss something um, when I miss these calls. Because this is, this is my center now. You know, this is my Rock Recovery Fitness Center now. You know, I spent majority of my life there for about six months straight. You know, I got used to seeing you guys every day and hearing all the madness going on out there and everybody lifting weights and listening to music. You know, this is my connection to you guys. Um, and I cherish it, you know, as awkward as it might feel to sit here and talk to my phone sometimes, or even not knowing what I'm going to talk about. You know, this, this is really my joy today, a piece of my joy today, a huge piece of it. Um, along with my kitty back over there and, you know, some other zoom calls and other stuff that we do. Um, but yeah, it was really great. I love this. I love all the comments and everybody jumping in today. This was this was great. And uh, not knowing what I was going to do five minutes into getting on here, I'm really surprised at the turnout. So I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and if that's you know if that's all we have, then I'm going to head out. And uh, please reach out to us. Reach out to me specifically. I'm here for you. Um, get on the Facebook Messenger for Rock Recovery Fitness. It'll go to all of our staff, and uh, somebody will get back to you. Um, there's a phone number on our Facebook page on a flyer. It's like a blue flyer. As a phone number for peers or any support that you might need, please reach out. Um, and, you know, tune in for our other videos. We have workouts and yoga. There's some other things coming on. Um, absolutely. Jump in and watch these videos. Stay connected with us. Stay connected with your supports. And keep living to build your integrity. You know, build your moral compass. Find out what that is for you. Um, you know, and I, I hope to see you all on Monday when we come in, we'll get some, some good stuff going over the weekend and I hope you all have a good weekend and Meredith Prince, Hey, new to the group, but a friend of mine is part of rock recovery. Great for you all being here. Well, grateful for you too, Meredith. Thank you for jumping in. Thank you for becoming a part of our community. Um, yeah. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Seriously. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the snow too. Tack with it. We're all stuck inside way too much. Get out there. It's fine. Put on a coat. Um, take a walk. You know, get some fresh air. And uh, have a good day, guys. I love you all.